get right to it. Thank you very much. Thank you so much. Awesome. How are we feeling? That's pretty uh, energetic. Thank you. Um, I'm Preston. I'm Bronson. We're the Talby Brothers. Um, we've been playing music together our whole lives. And music, playing music does something to your mind. I think it brings a meditative state to your mind. And I don't think we realized this early on growing up, but in a world where we are continually distracted, fighting for our attention, we were more focused on our instruments and playing, getting better, faster, um, playing new songs, writing new songs. And uh, excuse me. Uh, well, yeah, we didn't realize, we didn't realize that, and um, it became uh, a, a nice meditative practice. Um, we continued to travel and perform, and uh, we stayed with our brother Ryan, we're from Madison, Wisconsin, we stayed with our brother Ryan, who's here, and we uh, played at a hotel in Hollywood, um, and... Through those performances, we played, played, and practiced, and we eventually met some people who got our song on television. And at ages 13 and 15 at the time, that was our dream, was just to play music for a living. And that started to become a reality. And it was those experiences we would play so often and practice so much at one point we had to go to our mother's nail salon and get nails put on because otherwise we would just shred right through them. So we're in middle school wearing nails, which, you know, 
looks how it looks. But uh, it was through those experiences of playing through the blood, the sweat, and the tears that we started realizing the importance and the, it, the hard work and the attention to the craft really does pay off in the end. And inspired to sa share that message we were learning, we visited our old elementary school in Madison. And we talked to a couple classes of kids about how they can use that technique, playing music, to work through the bumps in their roads and to how to use their creative minds and put it to something that they may love to do every day. And um, talking to those to couple classes of 20 or so kids was amazing. So you can imagine how we're feeling today with all of you amazing people. And uh, we just really appreciate the opportunity to perform for you and to put the message that if you teach kids to play music, you're also teaching them a lot of different lessons in return. And uh, now we're gonna play Freestyle, the song that made it onto Breaking Bad. Thank you.
Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Um, as I was discovering music as a listener, uh, I was also discovering it as like a writer at the same time, kind of. It's just kind of how it happened. It was like, he, here it is, and then, uh, I don't know, the next step was like, how do I have one? You know, you know what I mean? Um, I remember uh, the first song I wrote was around age seven or eight. And we have a slide for that. Me yeah. press. That's <laughs> us on the family room couch. Um, around seven or eight, uh, I remember what just like sucked me in was uh, I thought I had invented this chord progression. As you might know, like uh, if you've ever seen those YouTube videos where it's like, here's one chord progression and here's like a hundred hits with that one. It was that one. <laughs> it was like that chord progression and I was just in the bedroom and I found it. And Because uh, coming from there, I was something very simple and I found this chord progression. I was playing it over and over and it was just like, I don't know, it's kind of like you just got in this pod. It's almost like deprivation tank, or what is it, the sensory deprivation yeah. tank. You just get in this pod and you're just like riding this thing. And it's so simple, but you know, there's a lot there if you're looking for it. The meditative state. Yeah, that's what it is, yeah. Um, I remember the, the progression was great. I remember like words came really quick. And uh, here's, here's kind of how it went. I, I, I remember how it went, which is odd, because I don't remember a lot of my songs. Sing it. Yeah. All right. It was like this. Uh, Phone's ringing again. I think it's my old friend and his posse of jerks right now. Think they're better than me, although I can't disagree. I just wish that they let me be. So that's uh, obviously like, thank you very much. So that's obviously like, uh, you just go in this zen state of music and then out comes like, school was really bad today. You know what I mean? Like that's, it comes from this other place and then it turns into, I, that could have been like a bad day or a bad week or whatever it was for me. But I remember that as like, that is all part of one of the, like one of the biggest days, turning points in my life, just realizing what this thing is and like uh, what it can do and like, uh, something that is like ruining my day all the time, like at school or whatever, being like a kid, is like now it's, uh, it's like the source. It's the topic of like a song, which is, you know, which, very, which is very big for me. Flips it around. Very important. Yeah, flips it around. Now I look back at that day, it's like one of the most important days, happiest, like inspired days that I still remember, like so many vivid parts of that day. Um, yeah, through music, so like, uh, our lives as we've grown up after, after doing like what we've done in the past and the tools that we learned um, making music and everything, uh, through doing that, I've, both of us have been exposed and gotten in touch with people. Like, like we've been able to do things like this and meet people like yourselves. Because of people like you, so thank you. Yeah, thank you. Yeah. Thanks for um, doing everything you do. And we're happy that we get to be a part of this and share something. Um, yeah, we would love to be in touch, in touch with people. We get uh, emails and we have some really great, interesting conversations yes. uh, via just like someone saw something and, uh, you know, it's you a lot go of fun. to that next slide. There's a, if you text that number or text Talby, our last name, to that number, we can stay in touch with you. Yeah, it's email. Um, yeah, 10 years ago, we released an EP. Uh, it was called Amexa, and uh, this is a song off that EP. It's a lot more uh, adventurous. The EP, the song is like three, four minutes. And we've done a lot of expanding in the song. Thank you. 
Thank you very much. Thank you so much, everybody. Thank you for having us a lot. We'll see you throughout the day. Preston, thank you so much. Bronson, thank you.